I've played netball pretty much my whole life and I coming to uni it was a massive no-brainer that I was going to play netball so I remember finding the Instagram account and they said they were doing pre-season so I kind of sent a nervous message saying yes I'd like to join please and I kind of just never really looked back. I've been playing netball ever since I can remember. Um, I would say it's probably the first sport that I played at school where I felt like I was actually good at it. I'm Teresa Heaton, Head of Change at Brown Shipley, and we're delighted to have sponsored the Netball Club since 2019. I think it's always special captaining a team because I think you have to put a lot more effort into thinking about, you know, how do all these interactions and relationships with people work. I think it's taught me that teamwork is more than just about what happens on the court. I think a lot of it is about what happens off the court. More than just being teammates, you have to also be friends. Matches are like emotional events, they're pretty charged yeah. environments. And the idea of working for each other, like you're not, that's kind of the whole part of the team. You're not just working for yourself, you're kind of doing it for everyone else. The Cambridge University Ladies Netball Club are incredibly proud of their heritage. The club dates back to the 1920s, when women under 30 were not allowed to vote and there were still violent protests against women in education. They have witnessed over a hundred years of great courage in women at university and have championed their success along the way. They are an incredibly ambitious and hard-working sports club with the first team not yet losing a match this season. Their success is built on their resilience, their determination and above all their unity as a team. Our financial support of the club ensures membership is equally accessible to every girl who attends the university. So a lot of the um, clubs in and around Cambridge they'll struggle with and financing so for a club that is female dominated we don't necessarily get the same number of donations as like the male club so having access to the funds that Brown Shipley does give us just lowers the like the cost we don't want the fees to be an issue or barrier for people to join CULMC. We work closely with the players throughout their studies. We offer a mentoring program that partners them up with colleagues at Brown Shipley and then offer summer internships with the potential for graduate roles at the end of their studies. A lot of um, first years don't necessarily have um, or know to apply to internships so as that was especially the case for me when I applied for um, the Brown Shipley internship and it just it allows you even if you're not necessarily planning on going into finance just gaining experience within a company so having the opportunity to work with um, a company that maybe isn't necessarily associated with your course is really good because it means you can understand that your course isn't pointing you down one route necessarily. When I was looking for employment opportunities, there was really very little we were told about roles in the financial sector. So it's wonderful to be able to help increase female representation in the industry. I don't really, didn't really understand what um, like finance and like investments and just general asset management was. Um, and it really opened my eyes to different roles within asset management. It was all just really enlightening. The partnership is really important to us. By championing the team, it means we can continue to encourage more women into financial services. Exposing individuals to different careers and options will be really positive in creating a diverse and inclusive industry that reflects the world in which we all live. <laughs>